And support for cattlemen has come from our Indigenous people. Russell Mullett, a regular Indigenous consultant for several government committees, explains why he thinks the mountain cattlemen deserve to stay on the high country. You know, it's sort of cattlemen came up, they were led up by Aboriginal people and uh, they'd follow the, the same types of sort of uh, land management that Aboriginal people were doing way back thousands of years ago. And that is sort of go up there during the summer and, and uh, eat and be merry. And then, you know, come autumn time when it starts to get a bit cold, move back down. But before they move back down, they throw a match in it. And cattlemen saw this and followed the same suit, and they've been doing it for a lot of years. It's only been recent years that they've been able to follow that sort of um, land management practice, you know, using the fire or a match as a, as a management tool. There's no doubt that the Aborigines burned in the high plains when they went up. No doubt that lightning burns the high plains. Uh, we're now managers of this land, we can't escape that fact. So we have to have proper fire management plans, just as we have to have proper cattle management plans. I think it's about environment. I think we shouldn't just couch it in terms of cattle versus no cattle. How are we going to manage this environment, and can cattle be incorporated within this management plan? And my view is that yes, they can.